In fact, I must say how wonderful it is to see that our discussions at that time inspired so many of you to join us here today to find our first hand about Oman's green investment opportunities. كما تعلمون عندما اعلن مولاي حضره صاحب الجلاله السلطان هيثم بن طارق العام 2050 عاما للحياد الكربوني لسلطنه عمان وكذلك بمنطلق انطلاقا من رؤيه عمان 2040 التي وضعت هدف 20% او 30% من الاستثمارات ان تاتي من الطاقه النظيفه فاليوم هناك تركيز على خلق اقتصاد قائم على الطاقه المتجدده والطاقه النظيفه اليوم هذا هذا الملتقى ياتي تواصلا للملتقى الذي يقيم في المملكه المتحدة وهدفه هو استقطاب الاستثمارات البريطانية والاستفادة من الخبرات في الشركات البريطانية العاملة في مجالات الطاقة والعاملة في مجال الطاقة المتجددة في عام 2021 كانت إجمالي الاستثمارات البريطانية في سلطنة عمان نسبة 19.6 مليار دولار ما وهو ارتفاع بنسبة 20% عن العام الذي سبقه عام 2020 ولا ما في شك انه هذه مساهمه كبيره جدا وهي كذلك في الارتفاع ان شاء الله ستحظى هذه يعني اجمالي الاستثمارات المباشره الى سلطنه عمان بازدياد عاما بعد عام وسيكون سهم الاستثمارات البريطانيه ايضا كبير باذن الله خلال الفتره القادمه. Thank you very much for your question. Um, I believe there's three areas that are really going to drive better investment and trade between the UK and Oman in that area. 2022 has seen a dramatic change in how we're engaging in these areas, and three things have driven that. The first one is the UK and Oman signed a sovereign investment partnership back in January 2022, which means that both governments and industry work closer together to invest in strategic areas that can help with the supply chains of the industry of the future. The second key area is that the UK is currently negotiating a free trade agreement with the Gulf region, including Oman, which will aim to reduce tariffs to help the components that are required to drive our green energy in the future to be transported between both our countries. The third part is the parallels in policy between the UK and Oman in green energy. As of this week, both countries have committed to a net zero carbon future by 2050. Both countries are seafaring nations that want to transport goods around the world. And it's those parallels that mean that we are strategically aligned to make sure that if I'm back on stage in five years' time, I'm talking about the growth of investment in green energy away from the move in hydro hydrocarbons. Very excited to be here today. We've got a great audience. And I look forward to many more events like this in the future. Thank you.